Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Why does Hawaii have a red lobster? They don't need that. Like, that's like having having the Olive Garden in New York City, right? Why does this keep happening? <laughs> why, why does this keep happening? <laughs> why are they there? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. It's a front? Maybe, maybe. You know what? It's probably for tourists that just like, there are some. Okay, so I have, I have some family friends that we would travel together, go to... Well, we weren't traveling together for fun. We were going to events that we were meeting them at. And there are people that would do these regular events and I would see them at these events multiple times per year. Therefore, we became close. And a lot of them were, were from uh, middle of nowhere places, random suburbs in the South and the Midwest and you know, uh, all across the country. And I'd see them and they had a very different uh, worldview and upbringing from me, but that's fine. I would see them and talk to them and we'd be in some new location and I'd be like, Ah, oh, let's pick a restaurant. Let's pick somewhere to go. And I would start looking through reviews of places. I started looking around. I'd be like, this place looks really good. That place looks really good. And they'd always be like, can we find an Applebee's? <laughs> let's just get McDonald's. And I'm like, what are you, what? You're, tr you're traveling. You're not traveling for fun. You're traveling for a purpose, but you're, but you're in a new place. So pick, pick something unique to the area or, or, or something that, you know, is at least rated well and different than McDonald's. But they just, they just wouldn't. They just wouldn't. They'd always like, be like, can we find, yeah, let's find a Chili's. <laughs> I think it's because it's a comfort thing. Because no matter where you go in the country, uh, a lot of those places are relatively consistent, right? So you can get that one dish that you like from there or whatever. So maybe, maybe it's just a, I don't like change, so I'm just going to go to Applebee's kind of thing for them. I don't know. Those places are not good, though. They're not good. I, I just, <laughs> I don't know. Your aunts all wanted Chinese food in about five EU countries we went to. <laughs> Why? Why? You just go, go to a place and figure out what the people there eat and eat that thing. What do the people there like eat that thing? That's crazy to me. That's insane. I do understand that, like, if you're on the move, getting fast food and picking something that's just, you know, is going to be consistent, totally fine. Totally fine. But when you're like, you have so many options and you have so much time, what are you doing? <laughs> right? Why, why pick those things? I don't get it. Get every McDonald's in every country. See, it's different if they have a different menu item, right? You're like, oh man, Japanese McDonald's. I want the, the fancy burger that they have that I can never get in the U.S. Okay. Like, that's a purpose, right? That's, that's different. But you don't go to the McDonald's in Japan and go like, give me a double quarter pounder with cheese, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what's the point? <laughs> Why would you even do that? I don't get it. Why would you even go there anyway? But you know, whatever. Yeah, I'm a right burger. Remember when we did the Japan trip with High Guy and we made him eat like two of their specialty burgers because they looked so good. <laughs> we were like, hey, um, can you eat both of those? And then he ate like the whole thing. What a trooper. He was so strong. It's actually Royale with cheese. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know.